Yolanda Renee and today I'm coming to you guys with a makeup tutorial. I have not filmed a makeup tutorial in forever. Light beat because you guys know. <laughs> you know I don't like wearing a lot of makeup. I like the whole beat face look but not with a lot of products. However, I have so many products from Beauty Bakery. I have their foundation. So if you guys do want to see me do a more full face look, let me know in the comments and my next video upload will be featuring Beauty Bakery. I have um, been obsessed with watching the reviews, which are kind of mixed reviews. I feel like all the reviews on Beauty Bakery's Cake Mix Foundation are brutally honest. However, the end results are always flawless. The gurus always say it's more of an advanced foundation, but once they know how to blend it and apply it and all that good stuff, they love the results. And I think I have mastered that as well. It did take me a while. So let me know if you guys want me to do that. But today's look, I think that you guys are gonna like it because I'm not a beauty guru like that. Like, I'm not a makeup artist. Um, I don't claim to be. I don't think I know all the tips and tricks and stuff. But I have a simple routine, basically. And I feel like most people who watch my channel understand that. And that's what they want. Because everybody doesn't want to be caked up, you know? Just want simple, beautiful makeup, okay? And I pride myself on that. And pretty much everything that I do on my channel, I don't try to be too over the top. So I really hope that you guys love this video. I hope you save this to your favorites or watch later list. Um, so you can come back to it and do your makeup with me um, because I really think this is going to turn out really, really good. I also want to give a shout out to Smashbox. They sent me so many products and most of the products I have are Smashbox. But in this video, I am using their new um, highlighters from their Rose Petal Collection. Isn't that what it's called? I think it's called Rose Petal Collection, but I have so much stuff from beauty bakery i have a i mean beauty bakery from um smashbox i have a huge box i'll do an unboxing of that in a separate video um so you guys can see all the goodies i got from them but anyway let's get into this tutorial i'm so excited to get started okay First, I'm going to be using this Mario Badesco facial spray. It's basically rose water and it's very hydrating. Next, I'm using this primerizer, which is a primer and moisturizer. This is by Smashbox and I like it because it's very lightweight and moisturizing. Now, this one is Professional by Benefit Cosmetics and I like to use this on like my mustache, <laughs> my under eyes and my brows. Speaking of brows, I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And I think this is in chocolate. Let me check. It's in ebony and not chocolate. So ebony. And I just basically follow my brow shape and I do small brush strokes and blend. To clean up and perfect my brows, I use my Tarte Shape Tape. I have two different colors. Um, the lighter one I use underneath and the darker one on top. To apply, I use a concealer brush by e.l.f. and I think I got this from Target. So as you can see, this is the lighter um, shape tape and I think it gives your brows that like nice clean look. And this is a brush from Vanity Planet that I use to blend it out. I like to blend with the brush and my fingers. I feel like your fingers really like melt it into the skin for a flawless finish. With the same shape tape concealer, this is the darker one though, I go ahead and conceal my under eye circles. I really have dark circles and they're deep. They're so annoying. And I also conceal any other dark spots um, on my face. And then I'm just gonna blend this out with my beauty blender. And don't forget, always wet your sponge because that really helps with the blending process as well. I try to dab as much as possible and not actually wipe because when you wipe, you're taking the product away. So dab, 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 blend, blend, blend. <laughs> I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer to highlight and brighten my face. 
Did you notice I didn't use foundation? Because why? <laughs> For my new makeup makeup look, I just don't want that cake face, that full on glam. I want it to be, you know, more natural. But don't forget, let me know if you want like a full face tutorial and I got you. Now I'm just gonna use my beauty blender again and go ahead and blend that out and melt it into the skin. I'm gonna be using this Tarte Cosmetics foundation stick and basically map out where I need to contour. This is a oval brush from the Creme Shop. I love this thing and I have a bigger one when, once I start to blend this out. Um, but yeah, I like to map out where I wanna contour and then I will deepen up the contour with my Black Radiance palette. This is from Walmart. You guys have to get this. Like I have it in the cream and the powder versions, I love it, okay? Here is a bigger oval brush and that's the one I was talking about. I'm going to start blending and melting my contour with my highlight. Now I go overboard on this part because again, I really don't like that dramatic look. Like I want this to be very light. So once I go overboard, I'll go back in and make sure that there's a good contrast between you know the um, highlight and the contour so you have to perfect it here and there like it's not going to be flawless immediately you have to do some trial and error we're done with all the cream products so now it's time to set those in place so they don't become too oily or start you know having that like creasing effect i like to use this air spun powder which i get from walgreens it is literally $7 and it's comparable to more high-end setting powders. As you can see, I'm setting my nose area, my under eye area, basically everywhere that you highlight it, you want to set with a powder. To add some more color into our skin and also to set the contour area, I'm going to be using a bronzer, which is a great trick. A bronzer will help deepen that contour and make it like an airbrush look. Sometimes I'll use just a contour powder, but sometimes I'll use a bronzer too. It doesn't matter. So again, you're just going to use this darker powder on all the areas that you did contour. To wipe away any excess setting powder, I like to use just a foundation, a powder foundation, and just, you know, blend everything in. And again, especially like the um, Aerospun powder, you see all the extra, I just, you know, wipe it away, just like that. I never skip blush because I feel like blush really just brings everything together. Next, I'm using this fan brush from Vanity Planet and applying highlighter. This is the Smashbox highlighter I was telling you about earlier from their Rose Petal collection. And I'm gonna highlight my nose, my brow bone, and also my cheek area. Another reason why I call this my no makeup makeup look is because obviously I don't really like wearing eyeshadow. So I always use a bronzer or even my foundation, my powder foundation to just give my eyelids like a kind of a darker color, um, almost like a transition shade all over just so you get that beat look. We're not ready for lashes just yet, but this is a trick I like to do. Go ahead and tap two dots of glue on whatever container you wanna use, just so it can start getting tacky for when you're ready to apply. Right now we're gonna be doing our lip, and I always start with matte cork lip liner because it's just the perfect brown for us brown girls. Now I have so many nude lippies from Smashbox that I love, but today I'm going to be using my MAC Cosmetics Toast and Butter. 
So again, first is the MAC Cork Lip Liner, then the MAC Toast and Butter Lipstick. And on top of that, I use a liquid lippy, which is called Melt It by Too Faced, and this is in sugar. I only put this in the center of my lips. I'm going to be looking crazy just for a second, but once you blend it out, it just gives you the perfect combination and it looks just so natural. Also notice I'm using a lip brush from Vanity Planet. It's so important to use a brush for application and also use your fingers again to blend it out. To set my face and to eliminate this like powdery look, I'm going to be using that Mario Badesco spray again to basically melt everything and get it to just stick to my face. <laughs> Now it is time for mascara. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and this is waterproof um, and very hard to get off, but it's very sticky. So this helps me with my lash application. Now always make sure that you do the setting spray first before you do mascara because whenever I do mascara first and then setting spray, I end up closing my eyes too tightly and then I get mascara everywhere so remember setting spray first then mascara our glue is nice and tacky at this point i'm going to go ahead and get my lashes which i think these are my demi wispies um i think they're the studio effect ones by ardell so i go ahead and put the glue onto the bands wave it around a little bit to get it even more tacky and then i apply the lash in the center first and then I place the outer corners. Focus on those three points and everything else will line up perfectly. Another trick is go ahead and use your tweezers to blend your lashes with the falsies just so there's no separation there. And don't worry if you get glue everywhere, use the back of a makeup brush and it's basically like a glue eraser. Follow these simple tips and you will be an expert at applying lashes, okay? I know this y'all song too. I had to let y'all listen to just a little snippet. <laughs> I really like putting on lashes. You have to have really good hand eye coordination. I'm gonna cover my face again, sorry guys. Play Bryson Tiller. Shuffling songs by Bryson Tiller. The last thing I like to do is I'll highlight areas that I feel like need more highlight, um, especially after putting your setting spray. I feel like your highlighter is more intense when you go back over it. Also, don't forget your neck. You guys, listen, most people want to lose weight because they want a flat stomach or whatever. Girl, I just want a long neck, okay? I'm so serious. I feel like since gaining weight, it's like your neck just disappears. It's the weirdest thing. And I have like these like creases in there. It's just so annoying. Like I gotta get it together y'all. But I did lose 10 pounds on the military diet. That video is coming soon too. So stay tuned. But look, we're all done. It seemed like a lot of steps though, right? But I swear I can do my makeup in literally like 15 or 20 minutes, seriously. Alexa, play next song.
I know this was probably a lot of steps to some people for a no makeup makeup look, but this 15 or 20 minutes, it's enjoyable to me. I really love makeup, even in this most simple form. Um, I have my music playing, I may have a drink, and I just hang out for self-care. It's a lot of fun to me, and I really urge you guys to try this look. This is the end of side one of this record. Please now. So, what did you guys think of this tutorial? I'm all done with nowhere to go except the car rider line to pick up Taylor and Sky. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. I'll be down there. You guys know I'm going to be answering everybody. But yeah, I always like reading the comments the same day I post. And I know some people be like, dang, I just said thanks for sharing. And then I write a whole letter to you guys. Yeah, that's my alarm to go get Taylor's, guys. So I have to go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next upload.